Hey everyone, imagine waking up one morning, taking a look at your analytics and seeing that your website traffic has just completely nosedived. Have you been banned by Google? It might sound extreme, but it actually happens more than you realize. In this video, I'm gonna go over how to avoid being banned by Google and what to do if it happens to you. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first one we're gonna talk about is pretty straightforward, and that is a permanent ban from Google. With a permanent ban from Google, you no longer have access to Google products like Gmail, YouTube, and Google Drive. You also can't use Google Search with your Google account. And this usually happens if you repeatedly, seriously violate Google's policies. When this happens, Google typically will send out a notification or an email to your secondary email address telling you why they have banned you or removed access to the Google products and services that you use. In most cases, there is an appeal process that they lay out on what you can do to try and regain access to your account. Now, like I said, if you're a repeated offender of their policies, they may not give you the chance to appeal. And if that's the case, I really don't know what to tell you. Now, while permanent bans do happen, the ones that I want to talk about are much more obscure and way more frustrating and apply to way more people, and that is the temporary or kind of the shadow bans that Google gives to people. And what typically kind of waves that red flag for people to know that this has happened is a sudden drop in web traffic or keywords not ranking on Google. The very first thing you need to do is check your Search Console data. So if you don't have Search Console set up, you need to set up Search Console. It's really easy to do in WordPress. You just simply need to install Google Site Kit and connect it. There's actually a wizard that does this, and I'll put a link to Google Site Kit in the description below in case you don't know about it. But it's the official plugin from Google to be able to connect your WordPress site to Search Console and your analytics. But once you're inside of Search Console, the very first thing you want to do is check for an actual notice, right? Did they actually say something to you? Was there something that they feel was in violation of their policies? And you can find that in Search Console if you just scroll down on the left-hand side and you'll see that there's this security and manual actions section. So if you click into this, you can see that there's a manual actions section and a security issues section. I would make sure that you double check and click on both of these to see if there's anything in there. So for example, on this account, there's no issues detected on the manual actions. If I click on security, issues there are no issues here as well so I know that Google hasn't given me an actual manual reason for this this is the very first thing I would check if you notice that your traffic or your rankings have gone down now the next thing I would check is to make sure that something seriously hasn't changed on your website for example did you just recently migrate a website to a new host or did you move your domain to another service provider or did you install some new plugins or did your SSL certificate change hands did something happen there these sorts of technical things are the next thing that I would think about and look into to see if anything has happened recently on your site. And if something big did happen on your site, typically these things can be fixed and you can reverse course. It might take Google a little bit of time to get you back up to where you were, but it usually can happen. Now, what if nothing big happened on your site? What if your site has literally remained unchanged and just for no reason at all, Google decided to tank your traffic and tank your rankings? Well, this happens all the time. And here's a couple of the main reasons why this happens. The first most common reason that this happens is due to algorithm updates. In 2024, Google made more spam and core algorithmic updates than they've ever made before, and that will probably continue into the years ahead. And tracking these updates has become more important than ever if you're really keeping track of your traffic and your keyword rankings. And let me give you a real world example of what I'm talking about. So last year, the very first big spam core update that Google did was in March of 2024. And you can see that on this website, everything was going great until March of 2024 and the traffic completely dropped. Now, because we knew the algorithm update happened at that time, it's pretty safe to say that this site was harmed negatively or banned, if you will, by the algorithm and it really just tanked its traffic. Now, after this happened, we took a good look at this website to make sure that there weren't any technical issues that were causing this, right? And there weren't. And all the content is original. It's not copied. We didn't just copy it from ChatGPT and move it over. This was all handwritten content by writers. So we knew that it wasn't a spam problem from a content perspective. Now, this is one of the really frustrating things about Google, right? Because we all wanna be found online, we're all at the mercy of how their algorithms work and sometimes there are just some unfair casualties of these algorithmic updates. And this site fits that mold exactly. For several months, we continued to add high quality content to the site, hoping that we could kind of get it to come back alive, 
But if you remember, at the end of December last year, there was another really huge, big spam core update around December 19th. And wouldn't you know it, on December 19th, everything came back. So it's safe to say that when that algorithmic update happened, our site no longer was being punished for no reason, and we started seeing traffic again. So we thought to ourselves, great, everything's looking good. We can just continue to work on this site. You know, Google has not punished us anymore for no reason. Let's keep going. Well, unfortunately, Google had a different idea. You can see here that at the beginning of February, all of a sudden the traffic completely free fell again. Now, there haven't been any reports of a Google update or algorithmic update happening on the 5th, so we're a little bit perplexed as to why that happened. But again, this website for some reason is being flagged by Google for being spam or having something to do with spam, even though there is no spam anywhere to be found on this site. Now, before I get into the next reason, please make sure that you hit like and subscribe so that you'll be notified when we put out more helpful content like this. So while I just showed you some extreme examples of how a core algorithmic update can literally take a site from getting tons of traffic to nothing, what's more normal is seeing more ebbs and flows of your impressions and your traffic from Google. When you're starting to see a more gradual downturn, that's usually a signal that something else is going on. And in our experience, it most likely has to do with the type of content that you're putting on your site. Now, since ChatGPT has come out, tons of people now think they're amazing content writers and they just ask ChatGPT to create something and they literally copy and paste it on their website. Well, I hate to break it to you, Google's actually really smart and they know when you copy and paste something from ChatGPT into your website that has been changed very, very little by you. And here's an example of a website that got caught in the trap of creating AI content. You can see that they were ranking pretty high and getting impressions, but that kind of just gradually dropped down until they kind of hit rock bottom here. Now, right about here is when we took over and helped these guys with their content strategy. And you can see that we really turned things around and have actually gotten the impressions way up since before that time. Well, how exactly did we do that? We were able to help them get out of that by writing good, high quality SEO content. And here's the catch. We use ChatGPT to help us to do it. If you want to know how to use ChatGPT to help you to write amazing SEO content, then watch this video right here where we go over in detail how to use ChatGPT to help you to write good SEO content that will rank high on Google. So click this video and we'll see you over there.